Hello, property managers and tech enthusiasts. Welcome to our channel, Fast Cabling. And if you're looking to enhance connectivity in your rental properties while keeping costs in check, you're in for a treat. Today in this video, we're delving into the world of passive optical networks PON for pulling fiber optic networks in rental properties. So passive optical networks offer a transformative solution for networking in rental properties, combining efficiency and scalability. PON is the fiber optic telecommunication network architecture that utilizes passive components such as splitters and combiners to deliver signal to multiple users. This technology is particularly well suited for rental properties due to its unique advantages. And PON technology offers significant advantages in terms of cost effectiveness and scalability. PON utilizes a passive infrastructure, meaning it requires fewer active components such as power the devices in the network. And this results in lower deployment costs and reduced energy consumption, making PON a cost-effective solution. Additionally, PON is highly scalable, allowing network operators to easily expand their network by adding more users without the need for extensive upgrades. And this scalability is particularly beneficial for accommodating the growing demand for high-speed broadband services in a flexible and efficient manner. And assessing the layout of rental properties and understanding the connectivity needs of tenants is crucial for providing an optimal living experience. Property managers should start by evaluating the physical layout of the property, considering factors such as building size, the number of units, and the structural elements that might impact connectivity. And understanding the layout helps identify potential dead zones or areas with poor signal strength. Additionally, property managers should engage with tenants to comprehend their connectivity needs, conduct a survey or discussion to gather insights into the types of devices tenants use, and their internet usage patterns and any specific requirement that they may have such as the need for high-speed internet for remote work or streaming services. And this proactive approach enables property managers to tailor connectivity solutions to meet the diverse needs of their tenant community, fostering satisfaction and retention. And selecting point equipment for deploying fiber optic network in rental properties involves considering key components, such as optical line terminal, OLT, and optical network terminal, ONT, also known as ONU, optical network units. And the optical line terminal serves as the endpoint on the service provider's side, aggregating and managing data traffic. And for rental properties, are scalable and efficient OLT is crucial to accommodate varying tenants' needs. And on the user's end, the ONT, also known ONU, play a vital role in converting optical signal back into electrical signal for distribution within individual units. And it is essential to select PON equipment that align with the specific demand of the rental property, ensuring seamless connectivity and efficient service delivered to the tenant. And planning fiber optic cable routes within rental properties require a strategic approach to minimize disruption and ensure efficient installations. You should consider factors such as the tenant preferences, common areas, and potential obstacles. Strategies for minimizing disruption during installation, including scheduling installation during non-peak hours to reduce interference with tenant activities. Additionally, Explore options for concealed installation, utilizing existing conduits or hidden spaces to route cable discreetly. Collaboration with property manager and clear communication with tenants about the installation process can help manage expectations and streamline the overall deployment. 
So now we are in front of the demonstration board. To ensure a smooth installation process for fiber optic networks in rental properties, you should gather all the necessary equipment and tools, including OLT, ONT, or you can call ONU, fiber splitters, fiber distribution boxes if needed, and appropriate length of fiber optic cable. And best practices for installation involve careful planning of cable routes, minimizing this disruption to tenants and also adhering to safety guidelines. Prioritize the use of existing conduits or hidden spaces to conceal cables, reducing the visual impacts and potential interference with tenants' activities. So next we are going to do the connection together and I'll explain the components along the way. So here we have our A port G point OLT. It centralized control, simplified network management, and allow for easier troubleshooting and monitoring. The OLT help allocate bandwidth dynamically based on the subscriber's need, ensuring optimal utilization of the shared resources. And it has a maximum split ratio of 1 to 128, and can serve up to 1,024 subscribers simultaneously through this 8G point port and also it has two SFP port and two 10G SFP plus port for fast data switching. This is 4 gigabit RJ45 port. So next I'm going to connect it with our NVR. The network video recorder is used to manage and storage video footage. Since we're connecting to a bullet camera at the edge, that's why we'll need this. And I'm going to connect it with it with the monitor. And next I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect our NVR with the OLT. Here we have the G-Pon SFP transceiver. We'll need this because this is where we connect with our fiber optic cable. Let's plug it into the G-Pon port and use a fiber patch cord to connect with it. Coming over this side, we have our fiber splitter. It offers a cost-effective way to split optical signal into multiple output path in a pawn network. Efficiently split optical signal into 16 channels to connect multiple network devices simultaneously and ensure reliable connectivity with redundant fiber network, providing backup in case of any link failure. So I'm going to connect it with our OLT right here. And next, I'm going to plug in two fiber optic cable. Just like this, coming over to the edge. This is our ONU, also you can call it ONT. This is a crucial device in the passive optical network to connect <clears throat> to connect users' premises to the OLT. It receives optical signal from the OLT and convert them into electrical signal that can be utilized by the end users' devices. And let's connect it from the OLT. It's already powered up. I'm going to use a short patch cord to connect it with our bullet camera and it's connected. The bullet camera is also powered up. Remember, we have the second fiber optic cable. We are going to plug it into our dual band Wi-Fi 5 XPON ONU. By integrating XPON into the Wi-Fi 5 router, you can rest assured that your Wi-Fi network is prepared for future upgrades and advancement without the need for significant hardware change. And this Wi-Fi 5 XPON ONU can support multiple wire and Wi-Fi devices simultaneously, ensuring a seamless and uninterrupted internet experience for multiple users and it's operate on two different frequency 2.4 gigahertz and 5 gigahertz supporting data rates up to 1.167 gigabit per second so let's plug it in and you can feel free to plug in any devices that you need 
Last but not least, we'll look at the video footage from the bullet camera. I'm going to wave my hand to show you this is a live video. So now the whole connection is done. So a passive optical network spawns offer a number of benefits for both property owners and tenants. For property owners, deploying pond infrastructure can significantly increase the property value by providing state-of-the-art fiber optic connectivity and the attractiveness of high-speed internet access along with the reliability and scalability that pond offer enhances overall tenant satisfaction and tenants on the other hand enjoy the advantages of high-speed and reliable internet connection contributing a superior living experience so pawn technology provides fast broadband speed load latency and capability for tenants to seamlessly connect multiple devices simultaneously and this not only meets the growing demand for connectivity but also position the rental property as a technologically advanced and desirable living space. And congratulations, you have just unlocked the potential of passive optical networks for enhancing connectivity in rental properties. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our channel, Fast Cabling, for more property tech guides. And until next time, happy networking.